Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. Find the inverse function for fx. Hence, sketch the fx and the f inverse on the same axis. Finally, state the domain and range. So first part, I'm going to find the inverse function. So let the situation y is equal to fx. So where f inverse y is equal to x. So y equals to negative 2 multiplied with exponent negative x plus with the 3. So now I'm going to express x in terms of y. So rewrite the situation. 2 multiplied exponent negative x is equal to 3 minus y. Then divide by 2 we have exponent negative x, then ln both sides. So we have ln bracket 3 minus y over 2. Then focus on this part and we can simplify it as negative x. So x will be equals to negative ln bracket 3 minus y over 2. So rewrite the situation f inverse of x is equal to negative ln bracket 3 minus x over 2. So it will be the f inverse. Next, what we have to do is to sketch the graph. So now I'm going to focus the graph for fx. So given the situation, negative 2 exponent negative x plus with the 3. So first what I'm going to do is to have the basic graph where we have y is equals to exponent negative x so as we all know the asymptote for this kind of situation would be y equals to 0 so kindly have a basic graph exponent to the power of negative x since the coefficients for the power is negative so the graph will be towards the left and with the points of intersection 1. Next, the situation is multiply with the negative 2. So meaning that we have to flip the situation. So the situation would be still the same, meaning that the asymptote is still y equals to 0. But we have to multiply the value of y with negative 2. So for this part, so for this part, if we multiply with negative 2, and we will have a negative 2. So assuming that the value of y, we multiply with the negative 2, so we will obtain a negative value as well. Same goes to this part. If we multiply with negative 2, and we will have a value which is located over here. So the graph for y equals to negative 2 multiplied with exponent negative x would be like this. Next, we have to add on the 3. So y is equals to negative 2 multiplied with the negative x plus with the 3. So meaning that we have to shift the graph going upward for 3 units. So meaning that the asymptote will be 0 just now. So add on with the 3, the asymptote will be y equals to 3. Same go to this part. Negative 2, we have to add on 3 units. So meaning that we will have 2. Negative 2 plus with the 3, so we will have 1. So the value will be 1 located over here. So same go to this part, moving upward, moving upward for 3 units. So my graph will be like this. So where we have to find the points of intersection for x-axis when y is equal to 0. So when y equals to 0, so kindly substitute the situation. So 0 is equal to negative 2 exponent negative x plus 3. Rewrite the situation. 2 multiplied with exponent negative x is equal to 3. So 
exponent negative x is equal to 3 over 2. Kindly learn both sides. So where we have ln e negative x equals to ln 3 over 2. So finally, the value of x is equal to negative ln bracket 3 over 2. So meaning that in here, we have the point negative ln 3 over 2, 0. So kindly sketch the graph on the right hand side. So where we have y is equal to 3. So where we have y is equal to 3. Next, we have to find the point 1. Then follow by negative ln 3 over 2. So approximately it will be negative 0 0.41. Okay, so meaning that it's located over here. So the name of the point would be negative ln bracket 3 over 2, 0. So the graph would be something like this. For the function fx. So next what we have to do is to sketch the graph for f inverse. So the method that I'm going to use would be the reflection method. So meaning that the value of x will interchange with the value of y. So kindly focus on y equals to 3. If we reflect the situation, it will become x equals to 3. So where we have the asymptote for f inverse, which is x equals to 3. Next, what we have to do is to focus on this point, where the coordinate is 0, 1. So if you reflect the situation, it will become 1 0 so the location will be around here next focus on the x-intercept where we have negative ln 3 over 2 0 so if we reflect the situation it will become 0 comma negative ln 3 over 2 so the location will be around here so next what we have to do is to sketch the graph for ln So that will be the situation for F inverse. So next what we have to do is to state the domain and range. So since the relationship between the F and F inverse are inverse to each other, so meaning that the domain for the exponent would be domain for F is equal to negative infinity until infinity where the negative infinity and infinity is not included. Next, the domain for f inverse is equal to, kindly refers to the graph, where we have the negative infinity until 3, where 3 is not included. So as a conclusion, the domain for f actually is equal to the range for f inverse. Same goes to the domain for f inverse actually is equal to range for f. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.